Welcome back to the Enteric Lab Report to WVED's entry How-To Video Series, Segment 3. After entering a lab report and clicking Submit and Create Investigation, there's a short pause, then the Select Conditions screen appears. Begin typing the condition Campy in the drop-down box, select the correct one, and click the Submit button. Click on the Case Info tab. Under the investigation information, search for your name and select it. The investigation start date defaults to today's date. If you are continuing this investigation at a later date than when it was opened, select the correct date using the calendar widget. Keep the investigation status as open until it is completed. The case status will be retrieved from the Foodborne Disease Case Report worksheet downloaded from the DITI website and completed during your case interview. For instructions on how to complete this case report worksheet, please see Part 1 of this How-To video series. Under the Report Source section, enter the report dates. The reporting source is usually laboratory. If additional information about reporting provider and, pri and primary health care provider is available, enter these through the search feature. Under the clinical section, enter the information from the case report worksheet, including symptoms, onset date, diagnosis date, or lab report date if diagnosis date is unknown, the clinical findings, and the complications. Under the Laboratory section, enter the updated laboratory information, including culture result and whether the isolate was submitted to OLS. This section may seem redundant given the extensive information already saved in the Lab Report section, but is necessary for completeness of reporting, especially when there are multiple specimens per patient. Next, click on the Epidemiologic Information tab. This information also is completed from the case report worksheet. The exposures and group activity details are especially helpful to identify or curtail an outbreak. Please be as thorough as possible with dates, location, and restaurant details. Click the Add button to enter multiple activities or restaurants. The open-ended food history, if completed, can be sent to the State Health Department but is not saved in WVEDS. Please indicate if it was completed. Next, click on the Public Health Info tab. This information also is completed from the Case Report Worksheet. Please complete as thoroughly as possible. The drop-down for part of an outbreak should be checked, yes, if the case was added by DITI as part of an outbreak investigation, and the completed food history page from the Case Investigation Worksheet should be sent to DITI. Only complete the Contact Tracing tab if the case was part of an outbreak investigation or occurred at a daycare facility. DITI staff or your regional epidemiologist can assist with completing this section. Click on the Submit button at the bottom to complete the investigation report in WVEDS. If errors are detected, a warning message displays. To review the report, Click the View File under the NBS logo. From the Patient File, click on the Events tab. If you want to view the report, click on the date next to the green Open Investigation Status.
In our next video segment, segment 4, we'll add another lab report to an open case investigation.